Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can use the V-Ray Denoiser to speed up your renders. But real quick guys, I've got two new courses on Udemy. Ultimate Sci-Fi Soldier and Plasticity Modeling Guide. So guys, Plasticity 1.0 is now out. The program is pretty much at a good state. I like using this program guys, it's really fantastic. It's hands down the best 3D modeling program I've ever used. It's fantastic. And this guide will show you how to create this awesome uh, industrial mech. As for the Sci-Fi Soldier, I've got some really good ZBrush hard service scuba techniques and then a lot of 3ds max clean topology so you get the best of both worlds guys really cool hard surface zbrush techniques and then all the retopology process of the max all the max videos are unsped up and the videos in zbrush are a little bit sped up so essentially guys the purpose of this one is not to overwhelm you with, with dozens of hours of content but just to have really streamlined just like the best of the best techniques for retopology and sculpting so guys check out those courses links are in the description Let's continue. So let's just go ahead and render this. I've got that set to Shift Q. As it renders, you'll notice a lot of noise appearing right here. It usually takes some time to kind of clean that up. And so it can take several minutes to clean up all this noise. You notice a lot of noise happening here. So let's go ahead and use V-Ray Denoiser. So I'll go right here into the render setup. Next, you go into Render Elements, Add, and V-Ray Denoiser. All right, I'll just make sure it's uh, enabled. If you want to output to combustion, and then simply re-render. It's going to be a little bit noisy, but what you'll notice is that after a few seconds, Bam, the denoiser de kicks and you can cancel the render at this point if you're happy with this. So, in order to see what it looked like without the denoiser, we've got this one here called effects result, which is the result of all your effects. And then RGB is without the effects. So this is what it looks like without the denoiser. And then this is with it. As you can see, it makes a very nice difference. Now keep in mind, this may not be effective on like when you have characters with lots of like uh, specularity and reflection uh, skin and things like that it definitely doesn't work well in skin but if you have more clean hard surface reflective objects uh, it works pretty nicely here we've got some options here for example your engine we have the default viewer denoiser you also have uh, nvidia's ai denoiser you also have presets such as default mild strong and custom strength radius so if you Choose custom, you get these access these settings. We've also got some uh, advanced parameters. So hardware acceleration, mode, generate render elements. So with this guys, you can in the same amount of time go from this right here to a much cleaner result. Thank you for watching and take care.